longer need to worry about yes. that. Which and Jesus be, said, only you can forgive true. the sins of others. So what is the point of Jesus dying for your sins? And at the same time, he said to his disciples, go to the hospital. You know what was the first thing they ask you if you're sick, proper sick? The first thing they ask you is, do you drink alcohol? Do you smoke? Do you take drugs? Why? Because they know the side effects. So Allah knows what's better for us. And the fourth one is anything that can destroy our wealth is prohibited. You, our wealth, our properties is prohibited. Example now, in Islam, it's not allowable to steal others' belongings. You cannot take them in appropriate way. Like now, if I come to you, interest now, example, I come to you and I say to you, please, can I borrow 50 pounds from you? And then you tell me, okay, I will give you the 50 pounds, I would give you the 50 pounds, but you have to give me extra money. Is that fair? Is that fair for me? I don't know, I mean, if I'm going to That's not you, fair. That's not fair because... I'm in need as well. Okay. You could just be nice. No, no, I, I can give you that money 50 pounds and then at the same time you have to give me back the same amount which I gave you. But that's why in Islam interest is prohibited because of that. Because we care about your financial. We care about you being vulnerable. Because by being vulnerable, people will take advantage from you. Imagine you have no money and you want to borrow money. No, I'm just saying example. You want to borrow money. Now, I'm just saying you want to borrow money and you have no other option. You came to me and I said, okay, I will give you 20 pounds, but you have to give me 21 pounds. Am I not taking advantage from you? Yes, I'm taking advantage from you. That's why Allah said, I cannot do that. I have to help you. I've got two options. I have to give you as a charity or I have to give you that money and allow you to borrow from me that money. And then you give me back. And guess what? Allah says to me in the Quran, I do not need to rush you to pay me back the money. He says, as long I'm waiting you, I get reward from Allah. Why do you have so much faith in other human beings like that? Say again? Why do you have so much faith in other human beings? Like, do you think that because you have these five things, that you just expect everyone to follow these things? But if, if we don't, no, it matters, it matters. If, if we don't really follow this and uh, five things, then nothing would, nothing would go right. So now, let me tell you an example now. In, now in UK, if someone kills others, what is, the, what is the outcome? Prison life, 35, 20, 25, and then he comes out and he does the same. He knows when he goes to prison, he's enjoying it. Nothing is happening. But he kill innocent lives. Tomorrow he will kill. He'll do the same. At least, yes. Uh, my religion says I, will, I have to get rid of him because I save the others. Right. So seeing a bit of a flaw there, you said something to that earlier that, say, for example, someone killed your family or. Whatever. I got three options. You could go and kill them. I got three options. But then you're making yourself. No, I got three options. No, I'm not making myself God. But I'm just following. Life. No, no, I'm just following God's commandment. If, if, if God is following my commandment, then I'm being God. But now I'm just a servant of God. But you felt compelled to kill him because. Three options. No, I got three options, and you know, I got three options as well. Not right. just killing them. All right. I got either I can forgive him. Or I have to take penalty, like fine, I have to fine him, money. 100 camels in Islam. Or I have to take revenge. I've got three options. So what was the likely, what's the one that they picked the most? But Allah says in the Quran, the best option is to forgive them. I mean, I can't even do that. Allah says the best option is to forgive them. Um, do you think society... 
let's be honest, in the UK you really just cannot go around killing. Because in the UK, I'm here, I have to follow, I have to stay under the law. It's not mine. So it does benefit you. Yeah, yeah, it's not my it's not I have to I I need to listen what they do. Because it's me who otherwise I've got option to leave the country and go some el elsewhere. Okay. Um, and like so now example. I'm going to tell the truth. Yeah. And so I don't know if you were to look at it from a religious perspective. Like, now, like, that, uh, that change. Do you understand what I'm trying to? Say? No, in Islam, in Islam, we already have our law. We cannot change it. We cannot edit, remove. Yeah, so you do it from a religious perspective. Yes. So me, I'm not going to change my religion. Yes. I can live alongside you. But if you then implemented a law which was religious, because that's what your laws are, right? Do you know even the Bible says the same? What does it say? Is this the same? Like in our example, gay people should be put to death in the Bible. Yes, but we don't as a society do that. Okay, it says also if children are rude to their parents, they are to be put to death. Even in the New Testament. Yes, again, but as a society, Matthew chapter 15 verse 4. Okay, forget about UK law. We can we talk we are talking about the in and in, in, in religion perspective. So example now, you, as you said, tell me more about Islam, yes? So now in Islam we care about more women. Example, if you are to marry now to a Muslim guy, in Islam we are allowed to marry Christians. Get that point. And a Jew and, 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 and Jews. We are allowed to marry them. So if I'm to marry a Christian lady in Islam, I have to provide her. I have to look after her. Does she become Muslim though? That's her choice. As long as she is a Christian in Islam I, I can marry her. Not must her to be a Muslim. Or Jewish, yes? Yeah. yeah. Yes, the people of the books. Of the book, the scripture. So what's five? Five? Is anything that can reduce mankind's population, we have to go against it. Example, what happens, same marriage, what happens, same marriage, same gender? Let's say lesbian, le no, it's not marriage to me, but I'm, according to them I'm talking about. Let's say now man and man, what happens? The outcome. Imagine now, m in the world now, in the world, in the world now, the population women are more than men. Yes. 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 And guess what? Twenty percent or thirty, even thirty percent, forty percent, thirty percent of men are vulnerable, or some of them they have no feelings. 40, let's say, feel, no feelings towards wo and women because of and, uh, oh, illness, yeah, okay. illness, yeah? And some of them vulnerable, they have no money. Because of financial reason, they can't afford to get married. And some of them are gay, and women are more. So the more we have gay people, the, we have, the more, no, wait, wait, let me finish. The more we have gay people, we have less population, mankind, and also we have lesbians. Because no one to marry them, no one to marry them. They have rights. That's why in Islam we are allowed to marry four. There's a wisdom behind it. If I just marry one, what's the typical kind of number of wives? Like, what's the average? Because I know all of you don't. Overall, have four. it's one. Four is just a standby. No, four conditions. You can't just marry four out of nowhere. Is that a cultural thing? Because you know one of my friends. Said, it's not. It's not. It's not must. It's not must. It's just a benchmark. Like, let me, explain, Let me Sorry. explain, brother. What would be a reason it's, for doing it? It's not a, it's not must. Yeah, it's not must. You are mar you can marry one. If you can, two, if you can three, as long as you have to treat them equally. Let's say example now. If I got a TV for one of my wives and the other one also should get the same. But love seven days of the week. 
one night each one of them this night this night for this one and the other night for the other one so now in islam so women are at a disadvantage yeah because you get to have fun all week long no no it's not about that it's not about that it's about more women around the world more gay gay people you know what I and ma some of many of them majority of them are in jail yes. so imagine you can tell some woman wants to have a bright future they want kids so if we say I just I'm, I'm just gonna marry one why are you being selfish and not thinking about others um, what, the woman yes <laughs> see it's, it's something so far from me, removed from what no I that's your choice that's the man's option it's yeah. not a must at all yeah, yeah. Uh, if you can treat them equally then you can but if you can't then you have to stay away from that Like, like you're saying, it's it's an option, but the criteria is so strict, like dealing with four four wives or four women, everything has to be the same. Is it legal where you're from? So illegal. No, in yeah, Islam, no, in, in a Muslim country, it's not illegal. Yeah, it's practically, illegal. it wouldn't work. As in a Muslim well country, it's not illegal. So, for example, like unless you've got saying, like a seven-bedroom like house. Said, it's one. Or... No, if he's a Muslim or a Muslim, he, he can't act, he can't reject uh, in polygamy because we practice same religion, one religion. Same law. No, I'm not talking about this country. I'm talking about Muslim countries. Okay. But remember, we were talking about Islam. You said to me, tell me about Islam. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Um, you know the solar eclipse yes. that is coming up? Yes. Does that have any significance in your religious yes. teachings? Yes. It's a, and it's a miracle in Islam. When we see that one prophet said, advised us to run to Allah, to God. And pray to God. It's one of the signs of Allah. Yeah. God. Yeah. 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 Brother, brother, you know if you talk and I talk, we are going to divide the topic. So now let me tell you about Islam. Still, I haven't finished Islam. If you go and read the Bible. And the Quran. Quran, the only religion says, even during the war, during the war, if the enemy wants peace, we have to give them peace. Is there any religion can say that? Quran chapter 8, verse 60. No, no, I'm talking about imagine you're fighting in the middle of the war and the enemy says, I give up, I want peace. What would you do? And he murdered everyone. No, I'm just saying he murdered everyone. No, does the Bible say this? I don't know. It doesn't say that, I know. Because I know from Genesis to Revelation, it doesn't say that. And also it says, if a non-Muslim gives me peace, and he does not drive me out of my house, and he does not fight me, Allah says, I have to treat them justice. then by say like I don't know specifically but some of the Muslim countries that have contention and stuff like that if we were speaking to a guy earlier and he was speaking about all the good things that Sharia law could bring and why he thinks that would yeah be this is the five things I mentioned you remember but then within fast your religion like yeah. Christianity within yeah. Islam you have conflicts that don't marry with that ideology that you're talking about it should all be peace and harmony and but there isn't that so i'm just asking it's not even really attacked because it happens in christianity as well what then if it's sharia law and all these what's going wrong between the muslim countries that are in conflict with each other say again please what is the issue then with, if you're practicing Sharia law, yes. Muslim countries that are at odds with each other, how have you not been able to resolve that? Or the reason is now, even in Muslim countries, they don't practice, we don't practice Sharia law fully. Some part we take it, some part we don't practice. Do you understand now where I'm coming from? It's because the US are controlling Muslim countries now. Our leaders, they are they're, they're getting controlled by US and its allies. 
because they even said, Hillary Clinton said, anyone who wants Sharia law towards them is terrorist. If you want Muslim to unite, you are terrorist. See, if you want Muslims to get one leader, you are terrorist. Because now the problem is, if we stand for Sharia law, we getting attacked by U.S. and its allies. Um, example now, example now, one example. And do you remember in Somalia? I'm not sure where exactly when. That forget about Al Shabab. I'm not talking about Al Shabab. I'm talking about previous. There were another group. All Muslims in Somalia, they were supporting this group, that group. It was called Mahakim al Islam, the rulers of Islam. So they used to control people. I mean, they used to control the Somalia in Somalia according to Sharia law. But now later, US got involved and then Ethiopia came in Somalia and then they got destroyed. Because now if we want Sharia law, we are not going to get peace from US and its allies. So the main problem is that one now. You think most of those Muslim countries we want Sharia law. The people want Sharia law. Some of them don't want, I agree, I know that one. But it's because they're not um, that serious Muslim. Anyways, we know that. But anyone who is a real Muslim will would will demand and will want always Sharia law, same as me. Okay, so you In a Muslim that, country. Hey, let yeah. me first off forget what I want to say. You okay. reiterate the same stuff every day, right? Okay. Okay, so um, you said that all Muslims, right, they want one leader. Or well, you said something about one leader and all Muslims. How would that work? Then? In Islam, that's what... That's what Islam teaches us. That's what Islam teaches us. Back in the days, you said yes. Back in the days in Islam, we don't believe all as a Muslim as Muslims. We don't believe different countries. We don't believe nas different nationalities. As long as you're Muslim, where, whether you are white, you're uh, Arab, we need one leader. That is going to happen soon. Yes. Prophet told us. Okay, so yeah, what happens even the in the past? Of, what happens at the end of your book? Like, what's the conclusion? What are you expecting to happen at the end of? In the end, yeah, yeah. In the end, Muslims will have one leader. Mahdi. His name is Mahdi. His name is Mahdi. He will come and unite the Muslims. We will stay under his leadership. Even back in the days, Where? Prophet's Somalia. time. Are you from Somalia? Me say again? Are you from Somalia? No, I believe I'm from heaven. Huh? No, so where, where I'm from my mom. Is he going to unite all the Muslims? It's everywhere around the, the world. UK. No, everywhere around the world. The UK. No, everywhere around the world. No, everywhere around the world. We will have one leader. Okay, so how, and what about where the other religions? I, I, I'm not sure about other religions. What does the Quran say? The other religions? When Jesus will come, Christians believe Jesus will be with them. But as Muslims, we believe Jesus will be with us. But according to the Bible, even the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verse 21 to 23, Jesus will be against Christians. And guess what? Prophet Muhammad told us when Jesus comes, he will kill pigs. And in the Bible, we have Jesus allowing he will kill pigs, all the pigs. And he will destroy the Christian cross. In the Bible, we have Jesus ignoring the pigs. Reference in terms of like, is it literal, the pig animals? yes, the animals, yes, no, the, the, the normal animal. Even in the Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 12 13, Jesus allowed Satan demons to kill two th over 2,000 pigs. That, that verse indicates Jesus when he comes, he will he doesn't mind to, to kill the pigs. In the Bible, the what, Gospel of Mark, chapter 5. The end, so yeah. <laughs> in the end, in Judgment Day, in Judgment Day, if you die like this yeah, way. What does it look like? What does Judgment Day look like in your religion? Judgment Day in, in your religion? In your religion. My, in my religion, Judgment Day looks like this way. In the end, all Muslims will end up in heaven. But some Muslims, Allah will punish them because of their bad deeds. If he wants, he will forgive them. If he wants, he will not forgive them. Depends on him. I cannot judge you now, even you, if you die now in this way. Now, like example. Do you know what? I was going to come to that. Why do you care what religion you are? 
religion, we are like you're a Muslim and you believe, you know, you, you follow Islam and you you live that way. But why do you care whether we're Muslim? It's salvation, isn't it? You know, like Christians try and spread the gospel. You think you're giving salvation to people when you. Yes, because you also believe as a Christian, believe, or Jews believe, Judaism believe, you need to tell people the truth so in order them to be saved, yes? Okay, so with Sharia law though, does that mean yeah. you would force us? No, I can't force you, never, I can't force you, never, <laughs> never. I'll ask him about the Jesus. Never, 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 never. never. Mister, Mister, just listen. I'm, I'm listen, listen. Go away. Last time we agreed to not come where I am, so walk away. Last time you said I'm not coming where I am, so walk. Okay, okay. I allow him to stay here, but watch out. If I see you talking, trust me, I'm gonna stop in front of your camera and block you. Why you? Why are you? Gone. 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 But last time you agreed with me. You said do not come where I am. Did you not say that to me? Okay, but you know what? People that spread the gospel, regardless of what religion, okay. 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 No, because we agreed last time. No, we agreed last time. Yeah, last time because we don't. We are not here all night. Okay, you can ask me any question. I don't mind. But we agreed last time to not come where I am. Why someone coming to give a different perspective? Why you? No, I know him. I know him. Don't worry. Relax. I'm talking to you politely. Okay. So judgment day, you go to heaven. The the Muslims that haven't made it, where are they on earth? Do they, are they trying to get another chance to be redeemed or is that the end of them? No, as I said, some Muslims, Allah will punish them because of their de uh, bad deeds. In heaven or? In hell. Okay. They will go to hell. Okay. But at some point, in the end, they will end up in heaven. Because in Islam, we believe anyone who die as a Muslim, in the end, he will end up in heaven. Okay. No Muslim will dwell permanent forever and ever in hell. Is it true that a judgment day for you guys, for Muslims, is um, it's like 70,000 years or something? Is that true? In judgment? Yeah. No. Judgment day, so when you're waiting for your turn. That's, what, that's how no. I want to explain no. it. To me. So on no. your judgment day, what happens? Does Allah come back? Like, what, how does, what does it look like? Because it looks a very specific way for Christians, which we don't all agree. Yeah. Um, yeah, literally, what does it look like? Does your God come back and reclaim you? Or what, yeah. what happens? No, in judgment, the only time you will see Allah is in heaven. Okay. There's no another time. For now, we do not know how God Allah looks like. Does Muhammad come back? Or yeah, of course, God? everyone will come back in judgment day. Everyone will come back. Also, Jesus will come back. We believe in even Islam. When Jesus comes back, he will die and he'll be resurrected. Same as everyone else. And also, we believe, some Christians believe Jesus will judge. But according to the Bible, even, God the Father will judge everyone. Yeah, but it says that next time Jesus comes. When he comes back in this life, in this life, in Islam, we believe Jesus will come and judge according to Islamic way, not according to Christian. In Islam, see the difference? And also, Jesus will judge according to Islam by the will of Allah, not by his own will. See the difference? Even Jesus said, I have not come to judge. He said, my judgment is what? To please the one who sent me. I think that was the first time he didn't come to judge. The first time he didn't come to judge, yeah. he came to give the message. Yes, the same as time, other prophets. Now you've had that message. Yes. Now he's coming to judge. No, this is not the real and judgment. The real judgment is in judgment day, after this life. Get two different. In this life, Moses judged, according to Deuteronomy, Exodus, sorry, chapter 18, verse 13. Moses judged, used to judge Israelites. Yeah, but judge Prophet Muhammad used to judge people according to Islam okay. by the command of Allah. So yeah. that does not make Jesus to be God. Do you get the point? Okay, no, also, also the disciples of Jesus in Judgment Day will judge the 12 nations of Israelites yeah. Yeah. according to the Gospel of Luke chapter 22 verse 30. Also you as a Christian, Paul said Christians will judge the angels. 1 Corinthians chapter Three, uh, 6 verse 3. Um, is there any point in the Quran right, where, say, Allah has had enough of all 
the sinning, like there's so much sinning going on that something is going to happen. Is that what you ever said once and only that something will happen from your like religion's perspective? Like, is there a like you, earlier you said you believe it's coming soon and yeah. I think at the moment now we are in the end religion you are people can sense something whatever your um, ideology is um, and it looks a specific way you know pro our prophet people can sense that something is gonna happen yes I think even if they don't know what it is example now prophet Muhammad peace be upon him he told us what is judgment day just when you die like you say something happens. you know when I'm saying judgment day there's another life after this life yeah. that's yes. what I mean judgment yeah. day but, but because will that only happen like you all we all die at different times or is it going to be one the final judge yeah. the final and uh, uh, trumpet we all die once anyone that's on this uh, yeah. no anyone on this earth like? the yeah. final trumpet anyone on this earth will die same time and then the angel is going to whisk how eh? do we get to that the signs, signs yeah. the signs oh, I can tell you the signs one of them is 10 major signs okay. one of them is the coming of Antichrist the appearance of Antichrist the coming of Jesus or the coming of um, smoke smoke will appear an earthquake three earthquake in Middle East and and, and beast will appear that's those are the major signs but now we have the minor signs, we already have it. Like example, children being rude to their parents. Parents are getting controlled by their children, their children. Also, and people, and the people from the countryside trying to build and raise and have competition about in terms of who is gonna have and taller buildings. So now we have in like now Emirat, Dubai, now they saying, oh, we got the tallest building in the world. So people now also people killing one another. People killing one another, Prophet told us. People will kill one another. Bloodshed everywhere. But that's so a lot of those signs align with yes. Christianity. Even things like they say plagues. There's this beetle that hasn't been around for like 2,000 years or something that started coming out of the ground in certain countries. Uh, I forget the name of it, but it's an ancient beetle. It hasn't been around for 2,000 years. Things like the earthquakes in yeah. America, the path of the solar eclipses, that's a big sign um, for me anyway. Um, so what, what we're saying is, do you know, in Christianity, is the only religion believes two different persons, yeah, with two different religions will go to heaven. There's no another. There's no another religion believes this. Believes what? Example: Moses was not a Christian, yes. No, he wasn't. Okay, he was a Jew. Yes. He practiced Judaism. Yeah. He wasn't a Jew. He was. He practiced Judaism. No, he practiced a religion. Yeah, but Jew is a new term. Okay. Okay. So the religion he, Moses practiced was not a Christian. No. Christianity. In fact, Jesus didn't come. No, I'm coming. No, I'm coming to my point. Yeah. So the only religion believe people with two different religions will go to heaven is Christianity. Do you know why? As Muslims, we believe the only religion will go to heaven is Islam. Same Jews believe the only religion will go to heaven is Judaism. See now, but when it comes to Christians. They believe Moses will go to heaven. At the same time, Moses was not a Christian. See now? Yeah, but that, that's, yeah, see, that's part of the confusion. See? Christianity teaches see? you anyone can go to heaven. See now? As well. So, that is not the crux. Yes. Of, that's why I don't, even though I'm saying I'm a Christian, yes. that's just to help you understand how I think about things. I don't refer to myself sorry, as any, a Christian. Sorry, wait, wait. Any, anyone can go to Heaven. heaven. The churches. If, if we don't believe in Christ, a lot of them, go to uh, Yeah, that's what they believe. The Some of them don't believe in heaven. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I know that uh, one. Some of the believe. churches teach anyone can go to heaven. If you just say you believe, but I could be sinning. Yeah. I could be uh, like LGBT. I could be fornicating, but because I say I believe, they think they're going to heaven. Do you, Do you see? I just, don't. Just as I don't. Him, is, is there any rationale to that? Like, if I just believe, I can do whatever I want. I mean, and that's, I, I why, that's why 
um, that's why it doesn't from make their point of view, yeah. do you know what, why? It's about being inclusive and they like, try and sell it like your sins have been paid for. Okay, money. let me come My to that Jesus point. For money came last. Okay. But he also said to uphold the laws. Sister, stuff, so. do you believe, let me talk about this one, the salvation about Christianity. Do you believe Jesus died for your sins? Yes. Okay, what if I show you from the Bible, Jesus never died for your sins? Okay, do you know when Jesus, I got many verses, but I'm just giving you some of them. And do you know Jesus, after the resurrection, he was talking to his disciples. In the Gospel of John, the last chapter, chapter 20, verse 23, Jesus said to his disciples, only you can forgive the sins of others. If not, their sins are not forgiven. So, and Jesus said that after the resurrection. So, yes, yeah, so okay. he appointed so, them as head of that church in... Now, let in me come to the point, accidents. sister. Let me come to the point. If Jesus paid for the sins of others, why would Jesus, what is the point of Jesus telling his disciples, only you can forgive the sins when Jesus already paid your sins? I haven't heard that, but that's part, it's John. But that's part of what doesn't make sense. Your sins are fully forgiven, yes. in which case I no longer need to worry about yes. that. Which and Jesus be, said, which only you can true. forgive the sins of others. So what is the point of Jesus dying for your sins? And at the same time, he said to his disciples, only you can forgive the sins. I'm not sure. Maybe that was a summary of okay, what, another one. the sins that had happened another one. until that point. Another one. God of the but Bible. So no, yeah, no, works, Jesus yeah. said only you can forgive the sins. Because if they, not, they if not, their up. sins are not forgiven. So if Jesus died for your sins, then it's pointless, Jesus, to say your sins, saying, yeah. other sins yeah, are not forgiven unless you forgive them. Okay, another one. I got another option, another one. Isn't that really a teaching, though? I, I got another, another one. In the Old Testament, it says no man can die for others. Jesus died for, Jesus died as a man. And he says, "What? Well, no man can die for others." Deuteronomy yeah, chapter twenty-four. Where well, I'm coming. A regular man. No, I'm coming to the point. God of the Bible, Old Testament. Can he lie? No. No. Okay. So that means well, there's another understanding. To sister, it. yeah, I will explain all those. God of the Bible said in Deuteronomy chapter twelve, verse thirty-one. He said, "Do not worship me in pagan's way." What's pagan's way? They sacrifice their sons and daughters is human sacrifice. He said, do not worship me in that way. And he said, I hate it. If God hates human sacrifice and he said, do not worship me in that yeah, way. Sister, yeah, I'm coming. Yeah, but and he said he hates in that, him to be worshipped in that way. And also in Jeremiah chapter 19 verse 5, he said, it never, human sacrifice never came into my mind. So how can we justify... Because historically, when the Israelites took on other cultures and ideologies, yes. they were practicing those things in those nations. That's part of why the reason they was punished for it. No, I'm saying God of the Bible, Old Testament, says yeah, human know. sacrifice yes. is from pagan. I give you the verse. Yeah, that's not something we should be doing. No, uh, so, okay, was Jesus sacrificed for you? Yes. Is not that human sacrifice? Man didn't do that. Is Jesus human sacrifice? Man didn't do that. Okay, was Jesus human? He yeah. died as human. Yeah, yeah. Is that not human sacrifice? God sacrificed his own son. At the same time, he said, do not wash me in pagans' way, which is sacrificing their right. sons and so daughters. There's, there's and Jesus is the son of God. How can God sacrifice his son? All right, so there's only two When he hates here. it and he never came so up. That just yeah, means that you don't... Wait, 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 please. So that You're I'm not, not answering. I'm not, um, I'm not a He's not answering. It's I'm irrelevant. Not scholar, but it's irrelevant, sorry. But it's all that must mean. That, yes. That must confirm there's another interpretation. What is the interpretation? No, I don't, look, I'm not a sister, scholar. Look, I don't sister. Have every answer no, sister. That, that sister. That look, God said of the Old Testament, Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 31. Jeremiah chapter 19, verse 5. He hates human sacrifice. Yes. And he said, Do not worship me in that way, pagans' way, which is human sacrifice. And he, why? Because he said they sacrifice their sons and daughters to their gods. 
So he said, do not wash me in that way. So in this verse, the context is God hates human sacrifice. And he, sacrifice is an act of worship according to this verse. So how can sac I, God sacrifice his own son when he hates human sacrifice? And he said, do not wash me in pagan's way. And he also said, human sacrifice never came into my mind. Do you understand? Okay, another one, sister. No, another one. Hold up, hold up. Yes. Slow down. I, I don't, like I said, I'm not a biblical scholar. No, bring I'm not going to be able to answer every question that you may ask me. It's not something I study. But all that shows me is there is another understanding. Does God love human sacrifice, yeah, no, sister? No, no. Okay, it, was and, Jesus and human sacrifice? The Israelites were punished in the past for undertaking those types of practices. Yes. That's why they were punished in the beginning. The, the Israelites um, were punished for that historically, as other cultures have been. Sister, if so God, that doesn't mean God supports sister, it. Sister, sister, if God doesn't support human sacrifice, how can you justify Jesus' sacrifice? I don't have the yeah, answer to that. I don't have the answer. God hates it. My friend, it's not about Holy Spirit. Can you answer my question? God said, I hate human sacrifice. Can he sacrifice human? Can he allow to sacrifice his son if he hates it? Who, did Jesus die as a man? Did, Je did Jesus die as a man? No, did Jesus die as a man? Yes. No, did he die as a man? Yes. Is that human sacrifice? No, it's not. It's what then? Because you, when you have two natures, right? My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. Did Jesus die as a human? He's not answering. No, because you want it in a certain way. No, I don't like the answer. Did Jesus die as a man? Did Jesus die as a man? Just walk away. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Who died? Who died? The man or God died? Who died? Who died? Who died? Who died? A man or a man? Who died? A man? The man. Who died? A man or a woman died? Hold on. The man went to the grave. Sorry, my friend. I'm not going to speak to you. You're not answering my question. Sorry. 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 No, ask him. No, ask him. No, ask him. I tell you why. No, ask him. Who died? Who died? No, who died? Ask him. Okay, you ask him. Let me just point this out. I've seen this in the past with you. You want him to answer in a particular way so that it supports your argument. But why this? Why that? Why okay. That? Uh, who, died? What, who died? Who died? Tell me. No, who died? No, who died? Okay. It's the Christian doctrine that I'm telling you. Listen. Okay, who died on the cross? See, Ask him. From his answer, Ask him. From his answer, Ask him. So who died? His body, I keep saying his body went to the grave. The man died. And his spirit went. The man died, yes. The man died, yes. Is Jesus son of God? Okay, is Jesus son of God? In his human nature. Yes, okay. Does God hate human sacrifice? Does God hate human sacrifice? Yes, yes or no? Yes or no? He hates, yes? Thank you then. Then it, God, Jesus was not sacrificed then, no, because God I'm hates human sacrifice. He you just said. said yeah, he just said now. No, thank you, anyways. Thanks for answering. So, sister, sister, God of the Bible said, Psalm chapter forty-nine, verse seven: No man can be come ransom for others. And then your point is so, if no man can become ransom for others. How can Jesus die for your sins? And God hates human sacrifice. So did Jesus die? Did yes, die? who died? Did Jesus die? Well, yes. Did Jesus he die? Did he, did he die? Thank you. I'm not talking about divine nature. Did Jesus die? Did Jesus die? Okay, who died? Tell me. Is human nature Okay. Does God hate human sacrifice? I've just told I've just given you Yes. Thank you. So, no, so the debate is over. <laughs> did you hear what he said? No, sister, sister, did you know what he said? Sister, I'll repeat what he said. I'll repeat for you what he said. He said, God hates human sacrifice according to Deuteronomy chapter 12 verse 31. And God said, human sacrifice is from pagan. And he said, do not wash me in pagan's way. And he said, it never came up into my mind. So if God never came into his mind, human, sac if human sacrifice never came into God's mind, 
maybe there's a larger understanding. You're trying to look at it through a lens of being yeah, of Islam. Islam. You're no, I'm looking the way the Bible. Way wait, wait, wait. I'm talking to the sister. So wait, brother. I wasn't talking to you. Thank you. It, it might mean that there's another explanation. There's another understanding to it. So what, what's your understanding? Okay, so now like let I me said, give you. I'm not a scholar. Let me so give you. I may not be able After to Jesus. In, okay. In the best way. So I, I, I will allow you to go to any That's scholar. Like he seems knowledgeable, no. but you don't no, want to. No, he, he just uh, exposed himself. That's, 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 that's how they've been told. That's how Islam is taught. No, that's the way he Islam said now. Talk. Look, sister, he said God hates human sacrifice, look. and I ask him, did Jesus die as human? He said but yes. You want to play semantics? So am I making it? Am I forcing him? You want to play semantics to support? No, am I forcing him? Am I forcing him? Okay, sister. When Jesus come in judgment day, when he comes in this life, yeah, he said he will ignore people because of their sins. Christians, he will ignore Christians because of breaking the law and committing Agreed. evil. Agreed. So if Jesus died for your sins, why would he ignore you because of your sins? Part of it is that we are meant to keep the law still now today. Okay. We're meant to keep the law up. Did Jesus law. die for all your sins? Yeah, we're meant to Did he die for all sins? Statutes and commandments she she till this day. Okay, last question I'm asking, sister. No, he just answered, he contradicted. He just admitted. He just admitted that one. He said, God hates human sacrifice. And I asked him, did Jesus die as human sacrifice? He said, yes. So how can you justify God here hates human sacrifice? That's the Bible, no understanding. I'm quoting the Bible. No, you're doing a script. So you hear what you want. The Bible. Are you against God? I said about so the Holy Spirit. Wait, wait. There's yeah, understanding. Are you against God of the Bible? Thank you. Are you against the Bible? You keep asking questions. No, are you against the Bible? Because it's easier for you to answer. Can you answer? Who, do, who, who would I listen? You or the Bible, sister? listen to the Bible. Thank you. But He's telling me his that, logic and I'm telling that, him the Bible. With that comes understanding See? precept upon precept. Right. Okay, For sister. For example, the Bible says turn the other cheek. The Bible always also says you can take revenge on... Yeah. So, for example, so that means... No, I'm not talking... So that means... No, now I'm not talking about other cheeks or whatever. So that means on top of that... Okay, sister. Means, where's your so that means last question, I will allow you to go, second, yeah? That means that we have to take it in understanding. Yeah, if a three-year-old slaps me in the face, yes. I'm not going to seek revenge. I'm not going to slap her back, am I? Because no. I have understanding that it's a child. Yeah. If now you come and try and rob me, yes. I'm going to try and break your face. Yes, because, because I'm not that, a child. Right, all right. Yes. So it's not... You have to take understanding and into. Okay, sister. Sister, now wait, wait. I'm not. I'm talking to the sister. Sorry, brother. Brother, sorry, sorry, sorry. You can talk to me later. I'm talking to the sisters now. Okay, sister. I'm asking one simple question. Did Jesus pay all your sins, sister? Did Jesus pay all your sins, half or all of them? It depends who you ask. No, I've let's been, say you're a Christian. I've been, what I've been told okay. is that you still, you still okay. have to keep God's law, okay. God's statutes and commandments. No. So some Christians believe if they've been baptized and they say they believe in Christ, they're saved. I don't believe that. Okay, do you believe Jesus died for all your sins or some of them? Yes, I believe Jesus was sent here. No, no, sister. Jesus Did he was, die for all your sins? Jesus was, my understanding is that Jesus was sent at that time yes. to wash away the sins of the people from that time. We've, oh, that, it's got nothing to do with you. It Are you saying the it, salvation, it does, the yes, crucifixion has got does, nothing to do I'm with you? I'm saying it's not cut and dry because a lot of Christians, like I say, believe that they can do whatever they want but because they've been baptized or because yes. they say that jesus died for our sins and he wrote he died and rose three days later that they're saved i don't believe that okay I don't so believe so that. you don't believe jesus died for because your sins otherwise that means we can just do what we want we can i can say his blood paid for it and i can well brother brother how you believe in some and some you don't believe in. no i don't it's not that I don't No, it's in different sex of Christians, brother, the sorry. Teaching. Okay, sister. Because some prioritize the Old Testament, some prioritize the New Testament. Sister. Some I got one last verse, sister. For, but I believe we still we still have to keep Because, uh, because uh, you know when it, this happens they're distracting. And uh, sister, for the people who say Jesus died for your sins, all of it. I can prove you many verses I gave you so far now, and I'll give you the last final verse, which comes to conclusion and destroys the salvation. It's got nothing to do with 
Christian sins. Do you know why? Let me give you one verse. Jesus said, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, the Gospel of Matthew chapter 12, verse 30 and 32, the Gospel of Mark in chapter 3, verse 28 to 30, Jesus said, if you sin against the Holy Spirit, your sins will never be forgiven. Never, ever. That's not true. That's what the, Jesus said. That's not true. So that's and, what Jesus and, and, said. And also, so if Jesus said your sins will never forgiven if you sin against the Holy Spirit, then Jesus died for what then? You can be forgiven. But the thing so is, Jesus died well, for what then? So, he died for nothing so then. The thing is you either well, tell me Jesus died some of your sins and the others, he never died. No, I'm not telling you that. I'm saying, like I've said several times, I'm not a scholar. So I know you're trying to... Sister, it's not about being a scholar. How? Okay, sister. Well, if I studied this every day, then I might be able to answer it in a different way. Well, put it this way. I was born into so-called Christianity, but we didn't practice it like that. Wait, brother. You can talk to her later. I'm coming to inclusion because you're distracting. It's not a problem. you came distracting me last No, I never talked. I never distracted you. When? I never distracted you. No, no, I never distracted you. When are you talking about? It was about two weeks ago. I never distracted you. Mister, come on, come, come. Come on, come on. I never distracted you. Did I even talk to you? What are you talking about? About the lady I was talking about. The lady. No, don't lie about me. Don't lie about me now. Because Go watch the camera. Go watch the video. Don't lie about me, please. Don't lie about me, please. No, don't worry. Don't worry. Respect. Sister. Sister. Okay, sister. Okay, you choose. How many days was Jesus in the grave? How many days? Three days. Three days? What if I show you it's not three days? I've got no interest in you kind of trying to show me how wrong I am about... No, I'm, I'm talking about the Bible. I want to just say this. Yes. Like I said, some Christians believe that uh, Jesus is coming down and they're going to float up to heaven with him. That's what they believe, yeah? Yes. Some people believe that your sins are forgiven if you declare that yes. you believe in Jesus Christ and he died for your sins, was killed and rose on the third day. If that was true, he wouldn't be coming back for judgment. Yes, what's if the point of judgment? All yes, all sister. All our sins See, the were, sister is smart. If they was all forgiven, yes. he wouldn't be coming back for Why judgment. for judgment? But Can you judge a sinless that, person? Having said that, I still yes. don't have all the answers. Do you know what I mean? Sister, I still don't so, have all the so answers. sister, my, my last question to you. If you are confused with your faith, what is the point of you believing still in that faith? Because me now, as a Muslim, I'm not doubting. Um, that's, that's good for you, but it's a, it's but sister, a learning process. Would you not it's try a, to find it's a another way? Process. There's certain things I'm not confused about. I'm, I'm not confused that there's a God. I'm not confused that Jesus lived and died and rose on the third day. I'm not confused about that. Do you know another verse but says? at the same time, because when we go into churches and they teach all what if I show you? ideologies, yes. that's why sometimes there can be confusion. What if I show you another verse? Jesus was raised on after three days. Even if it was five days, six days. So which one then? If it which one is correct? It, I believe it's three days and there was which after days, three days or on the third and, day which one sister was, would that matter yes even if it, it matters five days seven days because 21 okay days, sister the fact that he said it was going to happen and it happened and people witnessed it happen that is the miracle shall i give you sister i don't so, i'll give you one verse so, I don't i'll give you one verse before the crucifixion wait 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 brother wait sunday. brother brother yeah. come on yeah. wait 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 this is sunday yeah on Sundays, but he actually raised on the Wednesday. Right. Okay. Oh, Wednesday. Oh, right. another one, another so fantastic. Okay. And, okay. And whatever. You so, know so, so you believe Jesus was resurrected on Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday, according to the wow. Jewish time. Wednesday. Wednesday? Wow. Yeah. That's interesting. No, sorry, not, I don't believe he was. No, sorry, he died. No, 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 even. no, no not, not Wednesday. Sorry. In I, Islam, I, Jesus was never crucified, never died, even in the Bible. But can I give you no, one verse? On Wait, let me give a verse. Matthew yes. chapter 26. Verse 64, do you know what Jesus said before the crucifixion took place? When they captured him, before do you know what he said? Place. Before the crucifixion took place. took place. Yes, according to Christ. Do you know what he said? Do you know what he said? From now on. What does it from now on mean? From this moment. Yes, he said, you will see me 
sitting at the right hand of God. How can Jesus be crucified then? When he said, from now on, you will see me sitting at the right hand of God. From now on is from now on. And that was before the crucifixion, which agrees the Quran chapter 3, in the and Quran chapter 3, verse 55. Allah said he was taken to heaven before the crucifixion and Jesus here said you will see me sitting at the right hand of God and he said that before the crucifixion how can Jesus be crucified I believe, uh, I believe the Quran is full so I how? don't believe because it's not okay it doesn't it tells, wait 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 let her speak please no, listen let her speak I'm sister no wait wait sister what did you say say yeah, no I want to hear from the sister sorry I'm not talking to you anymore. The truth, as Say far again. as I'm concerned. The truth, okay. The Quran is the truth in your belief. Okay. You so said it's false, yes? It's false. Okay. Concerned. Do you believe the Bible? They can't be both okay. Right. Sister, thank you. So now okay. I'm going to make you confess that the Quran is true and the Bible is false. Okay. By your my by my question. So now let me ask you one question, sister. Quran says Allah told us Jesus is sinless, faultless. Yes? But the Bible here, it says Jesus is a sinner and a liar. Which ones do you believe? That's not true. Okay, shall I give you the verse? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, do you believe lying is a sin? Just say the verse. Okay, lying is a sin. Revelation chapter 21 verse 8. Jesus said all liars will go to heaven, hell. Okay. Do you believe poison is medicine? What is the verse? Poison is medicine. What is the verse? I'm coming, first yeah, of all. Is poison medicine? Say the verse. Mark chapter 16 verse 17 to 18. Okay. Is poison medicine? Say the verse. Okay, Jesus said, those who believe in my name, they will take serpent and they will drink deadly poison. It won't harm them. I've never heard that. It won't harm them. After drinking the deadly poison, they will place their hands on sick people and then they become better. Okay, wait, wait, wait. It's poison medicine. I've no, it's not. It's, not it's, it's in Mark. It's in Mark. Um, Mark. Uh, 16, 17, 18. I, 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 okay, another one. I, Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. Yeah, that's what I could Okay, wait, wait. Uh, another one. She doesn't know. She's not talking to it. It's poison medicine. It's not this one. It's not literal. What's your point now? It's not literal. It, it means it he said they will drink. Is drink poison literal? Drink. What's drink? Yeah, it, What's drink? It doesn't mean ignorance. What's drink? It means if somebody poisons them, so then they won't die. No, he said they will drink. Yeah, they it's, will it's drink. Symbolic. See, there's a thing. You need. You need Listen, the materials. Wait, 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 wait. He said they will drink. Okay, now I will bring poison. You will you drink? No, because I will. Thank you. Then you don't believe in Jesus. No, then. because it, it's, it's not. It's uh, not the, sister, you see? If I bring it's deadly poison for you, will you drink, it's sister? It's not will you drink? It's not about me. Sister, will you drink? Sister, ask him. Will you drink poison? Will you drink poison? It means. You just said it means if someone gives you. My friend, please listen. Stop interrupting me. No, now you're interrupting me. Please listen. Okay, thank you. I'm talking to the sister. Thank you. No, I no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to anymore. Because oh, what you said, you contradicted. What? The sister is better than you. Because the sister, when you're talking sister, you're making sense. But him, he's contradicting his own words. That's why I don't want to speak to him. To be fair, I think a lot, sister, another, another one. A lot of what you do is, and this is what you do. Another one, sister. Let me prove this first to show you how wrong you are. Sister, another one. Another lie, sister. Another lie. Jesus was speaking to his disciples. Do you know what he said? I Some of you believed in um, Jesus. I just told you. No, but you said Quran is false. How can you use my Quran now? Because they both can't. So pray. now, so you should use the Bible to justify your point. Why are you using Quran? It since the Quran is false. Just, you said Quran is false, sister. You said Quran is false, sister. Did you not say Quran is false? Quran says Jesus is sinless and he's not a liar. But the Bible says Jesus is a liar. So which one do you believe? Another verse. Sister, sister, that. another verse. So you want to use, this is what I'm saying, you want to use the verses from the Bible to prove to me that the Bible is false. Do you have my point? You said Quran is false. So Quran says positive about Jesus and the Bible says negative things about Jesus. Which one is false then? Let's compare, sister. So, but, okay, is Jesus sinless? Okay, why? Yes, Jesus was sinless. Sinless. Is lying a sin? Is a sin. Okay, is poison medicine? 
you're using the same point. Ca so can poison? Uh, uh, it's not, poison uh, medicine. No, no, okay, no. another another one, sister. Another one. Okay. Another one. It's this. It's intellectually disingenuous when you do that and you do it all the time. I've seen you on. I'm using your Bible. No. no but you said no, the Bible no, is true. No. You're, so now you're against you're the Bible. Intellectually sister. disingenuous, and you keep doing it. Sister, now the Bible, you're you against keep, the Bible. You keep doing this. So Jesus said. I told you I'm for the Bible. So but you want to use semantics to where now I'm saying I'm against You said the Quran is no, false, you don't want to sister, use it. I said Jesus in the Quran doing, is sinless what you're doing, and faultless. What you're but your Jesus right is, a, is, 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 is a sinner. What you're doing is wrong. You said lying is a sin. What you said poison doing. is not medicine. What you're doing the words of sister, what is doing? I'm quoting the Bible. Come, come. Come, come here.